back into the pop charts, 25 years, you'll see the name of an artist there. And as well, if you look in the pop charts this week, you'll probably see it there this week. Now, in 1940, a boy was born to the Webb family in India. Harry, as they named him, has since spent a third of his 45 years in the charts, generating an astonishing 80 hit singles. The man who has become such a national treasure was in fact born in India in 1940 and christened Harry Webb. You know, why should there be innuendo about the fact that I'm single? You rush into anything and say, I ought to be married. Um, you know, Parky's a bit baffled, um, and so is the rest of the world. Uh... Let's welcome tonight Cliff Richard. We're delighted to... The investigation is now focused on an alleged assault on a boy under 16 at an event featuring the American evangelist Billy Graham in the mid-80s. Sir Cliff has called the allegation completely false. But once again, the publicity around the search has triggered calls for anonymity to be extended to the accused in cases like this. I say that before I became a Christian, I, I asked many, many questions and hoped really deep down that maybe I, I wouldn't get the right answer so that I could just call the whole thing off and have a great time. Search warrant was granted after police received an allegation of a sexual nature dating back to the 1980s. I, as a Christian, want desperately to tell as many people that will listen that I am a Christian and that Jesus Christ is a living personage and that he belongs to us if only we'll have him. And I would never have had this opportunity to confess him with my lips if I had not been Cliff Richard. Tonight, police said they have received information as the result of the media coverage of the last few days. This is, though, just the start of what could be a long process. Like anyone else, Sir Cliff Richard is innocent until proven guilty. I thought it was strange. I thought, gosh, what's happened to Cliff? It didn't seem to be the Cliff that I knew. He looked like a bank manager, by the way. He had the, you know, the horn rim glasses and the suit and tie. At that time, I was an agnostic. Quite frankly, you know, I think to go around spreading religion is as bad as taking drugs. Everything to God and prayer. Cliff the pop star had been all but consumed by Cliff the Christian. He now found new audiences and friends through events like the Festival of Light, a movement determined to stem the flow of moral pollution in Britain and headed by the holier-than-thou trinity of Mary Whitehouse, Lord Longford and Malcolm Muggeridge. They went on the offensive in 1971. This is the light of our Festival of Light. Praise the Lord! By the 1980s, the sexy hunk who had sung Bachelor Boy was still just that, although there was the odd notable and highly visible romance, like his relationship with tennis player Sue Barker. It was good for his image, you know, because everyone thought Cliff was a guy. Down. Sue was Britain's hottest young female tennis star. It was 1982, and Cliff was already 42 years old. And children because we, we have stated that we're Christians, they come out with this big word, you know, the celibacy thing and all this, which, you know, make us sound like you know, a monk and a nun going off somewhere. I mean, there's, there's plenty of people around that, that don't agree, you know, with having sex outside marriage. I mean, we're no different from them. It was game, set, but ultimately no match for Cliff and Sue. What I think gnaws away at people is the feeling that some of his alleged romances, like that with Subaka, were public relations connivances. Are you, are you planning any major announcements, Sue? No, we're not. No? Categorically not, no. Well, we've only just met. Just yeah. I mean, okay. Is Sue the sort of girl that you would like to marry? <laughs> you answer that one, David. <laughs> it was a very bizarre situation, and um, it was really odd that three and a half months later, when well, I suppose it was three and a half, because we met at the end of March, and basically the romance finished in August of that year, so very, very short romance. Uh, what about the constant innuendo that you're gay? Well, I mean, now, which, which are they going to have? Either I'm going to get married to Sue or I'm gay. Either I'm a sex maniac or I'm homosexual. Well, they want I, I... to know your sexuality, you see, don't they? That's what they want to know. Well, I'm not going to tell them everything about me. I'll, I'll, I've denied my homosexuality. I've denied that I am. And so what else can I say? What am I going to say? tell people? I mean, that's ridiculous, really. We need honesty in politics today. Straight talking. A bit more of a Christian-like attitude and less of the slanging. 
Oh, hi. I'm a virgin. Sorry? I'm Cliff Richard, and I'm a virgin. Shall I show you to your table? Uh, yes, fine. So uh, long as you don't expect me to sleep with any girls on the way, because that's not my bag. I'm a virgin. Yes, all right, sir. Oh, hi, everyone. I'm a virgin. Uh, all right. Could, could you keep it down, please, sir? I do keep it down. I'm a virgin. Are you deaf? He was uh, there. Yeah. He definitely stayed there. Cliff Richard. What name did he go under on the book? Oh, uh, I can't remember. Was it Gladys or something? No, Gladys was the name of his boyfriend, Norman. Cliff Richard's boyfriend. Yeah, Norman. fantastic part and I have to really get into the character yeah. it's a psycho case well when you've worked with Rolf Harris you become a psycho in, in August 2003, 2003 just four months of the Iraq war the then Prime Minister his wife and family accepted an offer to stay at Cliff's house for free Do you feel only comfortable about Tony Blair sleeping in your bed Something no not really, really. <laughs> what about the constant innuendo that you're gay For 10 years, we've had lots and lots of requests for the one and only Cliff. So, when we got that Cliff had some time to spare, what we did, we turned the tables on somebody, because normally it's the parents that know, and it's the children that don't know. This time, it was the children that knew, and the parent, in this case, Mama, who didn't know that this amazing surprise was going to turn up. So, listen to this letter. Dear Jim, please could you fix it for my mum and me to meet Cliff Richard? I'm a fan of his, and my mum has been since she was my age. I hope he is still singing when I have children. Thank you, Gillian Bennett. So, remember, mum does not know and has just come back from a shopping trip, as you can see now. The genders don't mean a thing to him. Like, you know, he's not concerned about women. Never was. I mean, you know, I've got a booby drive, so if you went for... You know, I don't know, some Cliff Richard or something, and ended up with, um, Jimmy Savon. Hi, are you Gillian? You're the one that wrote to Uncle Jim, is it? Great. Now listen, uh, what have you done with your mum? How long is she going to be away? She won't come back and catch us now. OK, I'll, I'll just hide the car. Ron, you can hide this thing, can you? Thanks. Now then, where are we gonna hide? You don't know? Um, oh, perfectly. Um... How long has this been here? Has your mum seen this? Well, there's nobody in it. Should we use it? Right after you. We'll hide in here until she comes along. Okay. Fancy a cup of tea? <laughs> can you see her? Well, look, I don't know what she looks like. Can you describe her for me? She's got grey brown hair and wears a white shirt and black skirt and black jumper. Black skirt and black jumper, white shirt, OK. Grey brown hair. How tall is she? Eight foot? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. She's not eight foot. Anyway, she's not expecting us, is she? No. This is a total secret and it's got to stay that way till she gets here. Oh, is that her? Hang on. Hold it. Oh, you've done it. There's two of them. Which one's your mum? The one that's coming. She knows all about this, does she? Yeah. Oh, she's acting well, isn't she? Yeah. Okay. There she is. She's just going in now. Your dad's open door. Right, you know, he's going to be talking. Do we go straight out? Come on, come on. Right, let's run before this car comes up. Well, Fritz is waiting in the wings. His name is Marcus Salvatore von Habsburg-Lothringen, 